Uh, Dave, just with Bobby Miller, another really fantastic and quality start from him. As you see him now kind of evolve as a major leader in these first two outings, what's kind of stands out to you? What stands out to you most about? I, I think, uh, like I said after his first one, just the ability to kind of harness the emotions. I'm sure there's a lot going on in there as far as adrenaline, but not try to overthrow. And uh, in certain moments when there's a little bit of stress, he's been able to manage it and make pitches. When it comes to the season and just some of the injuries, do you see him being potentially kind of a key element of this rotation? This yeah, year? yeah, yeah. He, he's uh, he's going to make his, his next start on Sunday. And uh, so we're excited about that. And um, just continue to gain experience. And so, uh, you know, coming, starting the season slow, we got to be mindful of building a foundation. <clears throat> and so uh, as the season, as the summer goes on, uh, we can turn loose, but uh, Bobby's done fantastic. I thought Will did a really nice job with him. Um, you know, that that throw from Jason uh, in that inning was huge. You know, to make it a one nothing game versus 2 nothing uh, was a big play by Jason. And uh, then we look at the offense. Um, obviously, we got a little help with the air from Abrams right there, but for us to take advantage of that, Jason, again, going first and third right there. Situationally, James driving in a run. And then obviously Jamie's big homer, so uh, they couldn't have went any better. Tim, for you, what I heard him saying about first game back after a long road trip is usually a struggle. You just proved that tonight. We did, we did. I, I, I had uh, doubts uh, <clears throat> through four, um, but uh, yeah, we, we found a way to show some life and, and get a win. And uh, we've got Tony one tomorrow, so yeah, you know, when you're playing teams that are young and, and playing, playing uh, with nothing to lose, uh, it gets tough sometimes, but uh, it was good for us to come away with one tonight. What was the thing that pleased you the most tonight? I, I think the thing that pleased me, me the most was uh, Bobby and uh, the way he uh, was able to get through six innings, um, allowed us to reset the pen, and uh, just continue to build experience and face major leaders. What does it say to you now that in the last 10 days, Bobby is the only starting pitcher on your staff to one game, he's got two. Yeah, I, I don't know if we could have predicted that uh, going into the season, but it's one of those things where it's a long season and guys are going to get opportunities by way of performance or by injury, and it's up to those guys that get the opportunities to take advantage of them. As, Bobby's done. as impressive as the triple digits is with Bobby, was that last curveball he threw one of his better pitches? It was, it was, and I think that that's something that um, you know, as a, as a young player, pitcher, you can bully guys and not have to go to that pitch very often. But you know, when you're trying to run through a lineup three times at this level, having that pitch um, and having confidence in it to kind of slow hitters down and get them off your fastball is important. And uh, yeah, that last pitch he threw uh, was one of the better pitches he threw all night. You had mentioned for him that you liked the way that he sequenced the phrase and liked to yeah. you. That a lot about just being less predictable with fastball. Yeah, it was. It was. I think that there's a there's one mindset of establishing your fastball and um, getting into the game, but nowadays guys can time a board. And so when you're trying to establish a fastball, you might not see the fourth or fifth inning. So uh, it's about uh, urgency from pitch one, and I think tonight he did that. Have you been surprised? I'm oh, sorry, just have you been surprised just kind of with the command that he showed at this level? Yes, yeah. Um, I, I say surprise because he hasn't typically had that ex that command. And even tonight, there were some misses just off the plate uh, versus the left-hand hitters where uh, it was commanded well, but it was just missing. So uh, he's filling up the zone, and he's going after hitters. And now when you talk about mixing in the breaking ball, sequencing, uh, the change of obviously playing. So uh, it's been really good to see. Could you tell he's pretty amped up in that first time, the first one to start? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and, and as he should be. And so I think that as a, the novelty, there should always be butterflies, adrenaline, and all that stuff. But uh, I think that today is different than his last start. And I think that, you know, it's going to be a fun one on Sunday. Um, but uh, we have all the confidence that he's going to, again, <coughs> harness those emotions and, and kind of channel, channel that energy the right way. You've had the Boston that Freddie and Judy's big hits, but Chris Taylor beating up that fielder's choice. Yep. To get that in. That's right. That's right. That's another play that uh, doesn't show up in the scorecard, but um, him legging out that ball that 
should have been a double play ball extended in, and uh, it's one of the many things that uh, CT does for our ball. You've had the cool opportunity of just kind of watching these young guys grow and establish themselves in this league. When you think about whether it was Walker, his come up and his rise, to someone like Bobby just seeing the beginning stages of that evolution, is there something that you kind of see in him that excites you as to what the future for him could look like? I think uh, he, he's very similar to Walker in, in the sense of the stuff, the confidence. And um, so I think that those two, I think from, from me personally being able to see uh, Walker as a young ball player uh, to Bobby. And so it, it's really exciting and, and there's no telling how good you know, Bobby can be. So that's a good What's that? Who's Max Muncy available to you tonight? Uh, he was available in, in a big spot to hit, and he'll be in line tomorrow.